Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria and this is Super Geeked, where I like to talk about all the things I get super geeked about. It might be thrifting, reselling, estate sales, mid-century modern, collecting. I am an online reseller of modern and vintage women's fashion along with mid-century hard goods. So you'll see a little bit of all of that. You'll see what sold and all kinds of hauls of items. And today we have a haul y'all. Specifically, I'm talking about alternative sourcing methods for your resale business. We all know about thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. We even know about retail arbitrage where people go to brick and mortar retail stores and buy items on clearance or on sale and then flip them online for profit. But here I'm gonna talk about something different and that is alternative sourcing options for you. One of those I've talked about many times on this channel and it is liquidation or buyout stores. I had sourced a bunch of mod cloth from a liquidation store here in Mississippi. And I'm here to tell you that this may be a good alternative for you that maybe you haven't thought about. In our area, there's a store called Dirt Cheap. It is only in the Southeast. I believe it's from Texas to Florida. So Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. There may be some in Georgia and Tennessee. I'm not sure, but for the most part, it is the south southeastern United States. However, there are stores like this all over. This company that owns this store called Dirt Cheap, and they have two flagship stores called Treasure Hunt, they were actually started as a company called Hudson's. When I was a kid, we would always go to Hudson's. They were the majority salvage. So if a business caught on fire, um, even like a department store like Sears or JCPenney's or Macy's, Let's say the building caught on fire, they had a fire. They had to get rid of everything, whether it was damaged or not. And so Hudson's would do these buyouts. Well, Hudson's integrated with another family and they created Dirt Cheap and Treasure Hunt. And they've been in business for over 30 years now. And Dirt Cheap is the really low end side of it where the majority of stores are dirt cheap. And then there's two flagship Treasure Hunt stores, which were the original Hudson stores in both Hattiesburg and in Gulfport, Mississippi. If you don't live in the Southeast, that's okay. There are stores like this all over the United States that do major buyouts. Hudson's, when they became dirt cheap, stopped doing just salvage and started buying inventory from all kinds of places. And one of those companies was Mod Cloth. I was able to get dresses, wedding dresses, formal dresses from $20 down to a dollar and change. So in your area, I would recommend starting to look get on google find out if you have stores that buy liquidation do buy out salvage and sell in a brick and mortar store my local store dirt cheap and treasure hunt recently teamed up with thread up they did a huge thread up buyout so if you don't know what thread up is very quickly it is the largest online consignment store and basically they market it to people that you can clean out your closet instead of just donating your items to goodwill or another thrift store, you can just box it up, send it to ThreadUp, they will photograph it and list it for you if they accept your items and you'll make a little bit of money. Sometimes it's pennies on the dollar, sometimes you make more, but also a lot of resellers like to buy mystery boxes from ThreadUp. And you can watch some of my ThreadUp videos on here where I've bought mystery boxes. For example, you pay $90 and you get 15 pairs of shoes. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know what condition they'll be in. I've gotten some Tory Burches, some, some Fry Moto boots, like really great brands. But then you also might get some Target pieces. It's just a mystery. And for the most part, my ThreadUp boxes I've made a lot of money on. So they're a good sourcing opportunity. However, it's always a gamble. I'm happy to see that ThreadUp is not taking inventory that they're not putting in mystery boxes or don't sell on their website and just getting rid of it or sending it to a landfill. Instead, I guess they did buyouts. And so my local store partnered up with ThreadUp. I'm gonna put a little clip where you can see the sign in the store. And I knew as soon as I heard that they got thread up that 
I had a hunch it was going to be like what we get in our mystery boxes, which like I said, could be Target or it could be high end designer stuff. And that's exactly what I found. So I went to three local dirt cheaps and one treasure hunt store all on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And I'm going to share with you what I found to resell online. Y'all are going to want to try and find some stores like this in your area because wow, I paid on average $5.35 for each of these items. That's right. That is thrift store prices. Now, of course, because it was sent into ThreadUp, it could be brand new with tags. It could be pre-owned just like in the thrift store. So essentially, it's like hitting a thrift store, but knowing that you're probably going to find some find a bunch of good stuff. And so I knew it was worth my time to drive around to all these cities on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and try my luck. And boy, was I glad I did. So let's get into the haul. And I'll also pop up what I expect to get for each of these items. So just keep in mind, I paid on average $5.35 for each of these items. And then you'll see what my potential profit could be. I'm going to start with the first item I found, which tipped me off that I had made a good decision. It is this black pencil skirt, very unassuming, just a standard black skirt, but I felt it. I knew it was good quality and I was right because it is Escada. Escada is a designer brand. This is, this is a hundred percent pure wool. So it is a lovely wool skirt and I knew when I found Escada that I'd hit the money. Next is a brand I've never gotten to source. I've never found it in my area. Another benefit of them doing a buyout, a Goldie. These are some great Bermuda style shorts. They're white and they have the raw hem. Here is the back. I have already laundered all of these. Super excited to find this. I actually was trying to manifest these Please, it's been a while since I found some good American jeans. So these are the good legs. They're in a black wash, skinny leg, great jeans. I love selling good American. So yay. I don't always grab rag and bone anymore, but I thought these were really cool style. They're a white pant with these black stripes on the legs. They have the patch pockets on the back. Very cool, very rock and roll. And so I was like, heck yeah. You're gonna see a lot of this brand in the haul. This is Everlane. These are a pair of white jeans. Everlane jeans sell awesome for me. This style is called the High Rise Skinny. These are made well. They are the nine inch High Rise Skinny Skinnies. You can see how skinny they are. One of Made Well's classic style um, with the high rise and in black. On a recent haul, I talked about looking for this label when you find a pair of Levi's. They also have the leather patch on the back. These are the premium Levi's, so they sell for more. This is the wedgie straight. They're in a dark wash with a raw hem. Here's the back of them. They're in excellent condition. So the wedgie is one of those styles you want to be on the lookout for because it's a good seller. Okay, I found two of this brand. I'm going to show you the logo first. And it is Lululemon. So these are some ruch side leggings. They have double zipper. They're in a size four. You can see the, if you don't know the Lululemon, the size tag is often hidden. It's a size four. Now, because it doesn't have the numbers around it, that means these were pre-2017. Uh, sometimes I'll pass on stuff that's earlier than 2017, but Lululemon still sells. So grab those. And then these do need to be sweater shaved, but they are, again, Lululemon. And they have this pixelated rose pattern. Sometimes these can be a little more rare. Sometimes they can be more expensive, and sometimes they can yield you less because they look a little more dated but um, I think these will do really well again I'll pop up the comps and my favorite find from the first store ooh, wow so these are some vintage bongo cutoffs with the red white and blue patch pockets these actually were original pockets these were not added super cute we have the blue with stars and the red and white stripes perfect for fourth of july 
for summer, for festivals. Here's the front. There's lots of distressing and super cute. There's the bongo tag right there. Very excited to find these. Store number two was Treasure Hunt, and I didn't find as many pieces there. Actually, both the Gulfport stores didn't have tons of inventory, as you'll see, but still some good pieces that I'm happy with, so no complaints. This is right up my alley, very vintage-inspired, very pin-up rockabilly style. Here is the back of the dress, and it is by a tried-and-true pin-up brand, Rocksteady. Rocksteady has been carried by Mod Cloth in the past, um, but it's definitely one of the older pinup style vintage inspired brands that has been around in the U.S. So great pickup for this. So I consider not getting these, but they are a just a comfy pant, super stretchy and soft. And that was one of the reasons I decided to get it. It's just and they're sort of like a grade wash. I am not sure, but I feel like these pants have the Tincel fabric in it, which a lot of people search for because they're super soft. But it is by the Anthropology brand Saturday Sunday, and I knew it was a newer style because it says by Anthropology. So that's why I grabbed them because they are newer Anthro um, and they're super soft and comfy. That's what a lot of people are wearing right now. Still post lockdown, people still have not gotten out of those comfy clothes. And so I thought it was a great pickup for $5.35. I just sold a pair of leggings similar to these. They are, if you know that symbol, it's Spiritual Gangster. These are a legging. I sold it with the rainbow stripe, but it was different. This one is metallic and is in pinks and blues. It's in a size medium, very cute leggings. And these should do really well. Love selling Spiritual Gangster. I think ThreadUp probably didn't take these because they did have a couple marks on the front, but I washed them and they came right out. And the winner for this store, I'm gonna show you something first. If you get ThreadUp DIY boxes, you know this tag. This is the new DIY designer tag that they use when they authenticate an, an item. So when I saw this, I was like, yes! I knew that this was a designer piece, so I did leave this on to just show y'all but this is the logo here. They're a pretty pair of dress slacks in a sort of burgundy color. And they are by the designer brand Bogner. Bogner, these slacks originally retailed right around the $400 mark, about $399. So you can imagine I was so excited to find these and hopefully they will resell for a good amount. The next store was another dirt cheap and this one I only found two items but two items better than none. First up is this really cute Free People romper. It's a wrap front and you can see the little romper on the bottom and then it just tie wraps. I did do a little mend on the armpit. The seam had started to come apart just a little bit. I'm not a big sewer but I can mend really well so I did that but overall this is a really cute piece. It's got little bell sleeves. It goes down to your elbow and then the back has buttons down but it's like open so really cute and perfect for this time of year. And the second piece I got is this black ruched dress and it is by a brand I love to sell. It was on my bread and butter brands. It is Bowden. This is the older tag Bowden, but even plain Bowden dresses still sell for me really well. And so I couldn't pass it up at that little over $5 mark. Okay, so so far that's two dirt cheaps and a treasure hunt. Now we're on to the last dirt cheap store and this is where I got the most pieces. First up is a white blazer. It is cotton and the brand, I don't know if you can see it, but the brand is Theory. So normally I'm passing on Theory for the most part. I did find a bunch of Theory pants at some of these dirt cheaps and I did pass those up. But with the blazer, I felt like it was a safe bet. I looked at comps, they looked good. So I figured you coming home with me. All right, we have another pair of Everlane. They are in a black wash. They're a skinny jean, ankle length. And again, I love selling Everlane jeans. Also still picking up free people. These are the busted knee jeans. I know because I have 
Uh, sold these a lot of times. They're in a very dark wash. Super skinnies. These are a size 28. And very happy to find these. Yes, it's very denim heavy, but I'm okay with that because one of my favorite sections in the thrift store is denim. I usually go denim, dresses, shoes, and blazers. Those are my four sections that I love to go to if I'm at a thrift store because they have the highest return on my investment as far as clothing. These are the brand Pistola. And again, they're a pair of white denim jeans. Pistola has a good following. So happy to find these also. I promise there's more than just jeans, but I found these Reformation jeans. These look like they were hardly worn, but they were cropped. So someone did crop these themselves. I'm gonna actually clean up the hem a little bit, but all I have to do is notate that in the listings. They are called the Ultra High and Skinny, and they probably were a longer inseam. They look like it to me, and so that's why the person cropped them but they're still sellable. All you have to do is notate it in the listing and I always include measurements so it'll help the buyer determine if they'll work for them. Another pair of Madewell and this is the newer Madewell tag because it has this fair trade tag included on it. These are called the Curvy High Rise and I actually just sold a pair of these. I really like this. They sold super fast. These are in a dark wash. There's the back of them and again a skinny fit. I thought this piece would be good for somebody who's bundling. This is by the brand A Goldie, and it is a ribbed mock neck top, short sleeves, very 90s and Y2K. Here's the back. And another non jean piece. This again is made well. And this is a cardigan. It does need a sweater shave, but it is a duster length and it has these cool pockets on the front very comfy oversized sweater and it has merino wool and alpaca in it so it should sell pretty well i do like selling made well sweaters if they have those nicer fabrics included this is not one of the premium denim from levi's but they are the rib cage straight and the rib cage are a very popular style. See, these have the paper patch versus the leather patch the other ones had, but this is still a great style and it does have the hidden button fly. So definitely a safe bet. These trendier Levi's styles still bring in a good amount. And another pair of Everlane. These are not the ankle length. These are the regular, but they do have a raw hem. Of course, it has a straight leg in a gray wash. Great condition, didn't have to do much to these. I do need to spot treat these, which I mean happens with the business we're in and I don't mind cleaning items, but they are Lululemon and they are these adorable pink joggers. You can see that they have the jogger bottoms, drawstring waist with the elastic and a single zipper pocket. I like this big zipper that it has on it, but it does have this spot right here on the leg. So I will have to treat that, but with Lululemon and with this being a comfy jogger style, I think it'll still do great. And last pair of jeans were another pair of Madewell. These are the 11 inch high rise skinny. They're in a black wash with a raw hem. And here are the back, the Madewell black leather patch on the back also. And my last item I've never tried, but for my men's clothing resellers, especially my friend Bob over at Bob Buys, she likes to pick up this brand. She's mentioned that her friend Matt from Thrift of Life, who has the menswear manifesto, that Foot Joy is a great seller. So I thought I would try it out when I saw it. And I know about this logo because of Matt and Bob. This is a pullover style jacket. It does have the embroidered foot joy on the back. I'm not a big men's seller, but if I find a piece that I like and I think will do good, then I'm gonna pick it up because I'm a reseller at heart and I wanna make money. <laughs> 
Okay, so that is my haul from my local liquidation brick and mortar store. Again, if you have not tried one of these liquidation buyout stores, I highly recommend you look around your area and see if you have any because they have been a good sourcing opportunity for me. They're not the type of the place where I can go in every week and pick up items, but when they get a good shipment in of stuff, then it works because I have a lot to owe to this to sourcing at the store for all the mod cloth pieces over the years. And then also now with this thread up collaboration, I'm hoping they continue it. And if you live in the Southeast, definitely look up and see if your dirt cheap is carrying the thread up buyouts because it may be worth it for you to head out and see what they have. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Again, my name is Victoria and I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.